Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me in Superliminal. We are checking the level called Blackout. Now, if you haven't watched any of the previous videos in the series, go back and check that out. Part of the game is you got to use all the extinguishers and hit all the fire alarms, but we're in this dream world. Go back and check out the previous three episodes. Jump off now before you uh, get any spoilers here. And we're going to go ahead and click on this boom box to get the level going here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite touring the waterfall serenity zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Okay, so the sun is supposedly shining, but things are going wrong. Let's go ahead and start the level here in this very creepy long hallway, kind of like a warehouse. We'll just keep clicking on these fire extinguishers here. We've got two more coming up. It looks like there's one by every door. I don't know what happened. Ooh, are we in a horror game? What do we got over here? There's like a... Oh. Okay. Um, things got dark, literally. This is very horror-esque. I'm going to skip the fire extinguishers for now, and we're going to get the heck out of Dodge. I can come back and do that later. Um, yeah, I didn't realize we were playing a horror game. Alright, let's get through this door here. Road closed. Um, nothing hiding in the back corner. No monster is going to jump out at us. What's with the flashing lights? I, I, I just don't need that in my life right now. Uh, okay. In the down the creepy hallway. More flashing lights that just fix themselves and... We lost our door back here? Yeah, we lost our door back here. Okay. I guess onwards we go. Into some freezer spaces here. Through the creepy, like, butcher things. All right. Um, and what do we got over here? We've got, uh, okay, quite a bit of blood on the ground going in through a door. Oh, there's a handprint. Very nice. Can I get... Nope. Okay, that just slammed on us. We're going to get attacked by some ghosts here soon. Let's move these big old uh, gas containers out of the way. Oh, that one just fell. Uh, can we get through this door? No. Nothing over here either. Uh, all right, we'll jump the table. Looks like we're heading this way. And through this door here. All right, what do we got down here? Okay, mm that door just closed on us too. Very nice. Uh, okay, a little square room at the end of the hallway. Nothing crazy. Ooh, we got the menu for the week. Murder, 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 beans on Sunday. Okay, I can I can live with that. I do like me some beans. Um, very tall room, but the light doesn't go all the way down. Um, let's see if there's anything in the dark here. We're just going to kind of back our way into it. And, uh, oh, wait, there is. Okay, nice. So it looks like we're in another hallway that was hidden, obscured in the dark. We've got some plants at the end. Nothing down here. All right, let's go down here here and we'll go through this door if you've been enjoying these super liminal videos don't forget to like it um die 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 uh don't forget to like the video and subscribe to tooth and scrubs gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion i'd appreciate it i appreciate all the hard work you guys have been doing the likes the subscribes coming here getting those view hours in for me i appreciate you it and i appreciate you up oh, that door just closed on me as well okay and we got more blood coming down the hallway Nice. All right. Um, what do we got through here? A very dark. Whoop. Wow. Wow. We just fell to our death. And we're back. All right. So there's probably a way. Do we have to like go to the right here? Uh, we're up against the wall. I don't think I can do that. All right. Let's check this side over here. Um, oh, wait. There's a, a plank right there. Okay. Nothing all the way against the wall. Uh, and we can go, looks like right or left. Let's go right. And we're just going to keep looking down and fall on the planks. And we're going to... Oop, that's the end. I wonder if we can make the jump. Let's see if we can make this jump. Nope. Okay, so there's got to be another way around. Uh, all right, let's go back to the left here. All right, across the planks to the left. Okay, and extends this. Oh, very nice. Okay. So we had to do that initially. All right, and down the hallway we go with more blood. I guess we're just following some creepy monster. Got another boombox here to play. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. Mm, more blood. You feel this way 
because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you, the kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. <laughs> I don't know, when I rounded this corner, I thought that was a person there coming through the little window, but really it's just a pawn with some light behind it. We got a chessboard back here. Seems to be quite the theme in this game. More blood, nice. Um, a lot of chess pieces. All right, into the freezer space again with even more blood. Nice, and that door just closed on us. Uh, I'm guessing we go down this dark, scary hallway. Let's see. Let's back into it so at least we can see the light. Yeah, there's another chess piece there. Um, it looks like there's something to our right. Uh, oh, there's an arrow, okay, pointing to our right. So I'm guessing we go up these stairs, keep using the light as our guide. And here we go, we're on some sort of catwalk, and there's the door we're going to. Follow the lights down here, through here. Ooh, a fire extinguisher, we can actually get this one. Warning, you were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Okay, we can't remove the planks, but usually up, yep, we can grab these signs. Okay, so we can use this as a light source, it looks like. Let's make this a little bit bigger here. Alright, and let's use this as our flashlight, see if we can find anything. Oh, that thing's just flapping in the breeze, literally. Alright, let's go back this way. I don't see anything over here, nothing over here. Um, nothing down this spooky hallway. Can't go through there. Wait, what? Oh, tricky, tricky. That's actually really good. Okay, down this hallway into this creepy box fort layer thing. Uh, all right, looks like we're going up. Up here. Don't turn around. Okay, well, yeah, I guess we keep going this way. Anything up top? Nope. All right. Even spookier, I didn't know this was a horror game. I guess it is. And we're dropping our sign here. All right, we're going towards the emergency generator. Let's get ourselves some, uh, we'll get some baking soda this time. And we'll put it in the recycling can. Uh, environment saved. Nice, got a nice little achievement there. Uh, all right, uh, we can't take our sign through, but let's shine the light in here. Let's make this bigger so we actually get some light. Drop that one more time. Boom. Okay, looks like we're climbing those boxes. Can we get under this? Yeah, we can get under this. Nice. And there's more blood on the ground there. Diet soda. Smooth. All right. Um, I guess let's see what's behind this door. Nope. Big old thing of bricks. So up we go. Oops. Didn't make that jump there. Nice and dark. Anything on the sides? No. We got, looks like a chair. No, a knife. Knife and a light. Ooh. I thought Did I saw something on the unintentional corner of my eye. Did you multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. All right, a lot more blood on the ground here, and we got the word idea. Let's see. Idea. Oh, we can interact with it. Oh, nice. Okay, we're in some sort of kitchen. Oh, it's not blood, it's paint. Ah, they tricked us. They tricked us. Some paint brushes. I like the music. Can we interact with any of this stuff? Nothing over here. Oh, the doors are closed down there. Wait. No, 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 we're not. Oh, we gotta follow that guy. Okay. Let's see what happens. We're going to chase the pawn or whatever that was at a bishop. <sighs> this game, because, you know, it just stuck its head out right there. Guessing that's what the don't turn around was hinting at on those boxes. We'll continue this way. Oh, there he is. But see, I can't interact with him. What the heck? All right, down here. Uh, let's check this door over here. Nope. Okay. Well, while we're chasing this, down in the comments below, let me know what you think's going on. This game's a little... A lot trippy, not just a little, a lot trippy. Got chess pieces poking out around corners. Falling down never-ending loops of, not death, but I don't know, moving around. Yeah, there's that sign, don't turn around. Oh, it's on quite a few boxes. Let's see, where else? Probably that. Mm. It's 
We're just going to keep, keep chasing this guy to wherever. Uh, okay, let's be lazy. We're just going to jump down. And he's going to open that door for us. How nice of him. But he opened it in reverse. Anyways, still chasing him. Down the creepy hallway we go. So this is where we originally saw him on the other side. And he moved his little stool. Did he move any of the pieces? No, I can't tell. I don't think so. Still following the red paint blood on the ground here. Uh, there's the hole we fell down originally. Let's see what we got. There's the boom box. It's nice and bright in here now. There he, what? No, don't fall. Dude. Um, I guess, well, this changed. So I'm guessing we go down this way. All right, let's see what happens. Whee! Oh, this is a long fall. Um, okay, there's a door over there with a table and a box. No. What is it saying? <laughs> well, I don't know what it's saying and I can't interact with it. And it looks like we got the, the same photo in all these photo frames. So let's just go this way. Uh, all right, we got a boom box here. Door opening. Door opening. Okay, let's go down here. Let's see what's happening. Hallway with even more of the same photos. Wait, are we in a loop? Yeah, we're in a loop. Ah, this game. Okay, we already did that boom. Okay, I'm guessing this is the door that opened. Let's go this way. Follow this hall. Let's see. Nothing crazy here. And we got a, a control room with a big red button. There's the pawn there. I don't want to like run in there. Looks like he's been following us the whole time. Oh, he turned around. What happened? No. That's not the end of the game, is it? That can't be the end of the game. Well, that was interesting. I like all the dogs. The pretty dogs. I want a dog one day. Once I'm older, more stabilized. <laughs> all right, Albert. Shh. What a game. Or wait, hold on. Oh, that is his actual name. I thought that was like a play on shh. Art director. Uh, okay. That's, so I guess the main menu tricks you, because I thought there was like 10 levels in total, but I guess that's the end of the game. Seems kind of short, but very, very interesting. Glad we played that. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's not the ending we're supposed to find. Because now it's looping the, the pictures on the, the left again, because we've already seen that dog a couple times. I suspect this is not the ending. I think this is a fake out. It wouldn't surprise me if a game like this, voice actor Max Horath, if he was the doc, that's a, I like his voice, good voice. All right, so let's, let's make it to the end here and let's see if like it, it was a trick or something like that. Cause I, I suspect it was a trick. It was a trick. Okay. So I clicked out, we finished up the, the, the end titles there. And now we're, when I click continue, we are back here. Okay, so last time we went and followed the chess piece. Let's see if it, see if we can trigger it again. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so we're still back here in Blackout. We just turned the generator on. We're gonna go that way now, and let's see if we can actually find the real end of the episode, or the level, I guess. All the windows are open up there. What a tricky, 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 tricky game. All right, what's this say here? Projection. Uh, yeah, these are all things we've used before. Okay, there's our elevator, so there's the actual end of the level. Let's head down this way. We got some avocado stuff. Promotes heart health, anti-cancer, blood sugar regulation, potassium, anti-inflammatory, need, cloning. Biggest question is the real one. Order longer, freeze, or flaps. Oh, <laughs> we went through a bunch of those. Self-doubt and worthlessness. Get this fire extinguisher here, and we're going to hop inside the elevator to enjoy ourselves some nice avocados what uh okay i'm guessing that was the actual end of the episode let's see here our loading bar can't quite make it up pushes all the way through still going and going and there we go now it's fading and okay the sound of the alarm clock at 6 a.m indicates we finally finished that blackout episode thank you so much for coming and enjoying this tooth and scrubs video with me and i'll see you in the next one